Hello and welcome to Case of the Day. I'm Dr. Crowley and today we're going to discuss a patient who came in uh, complaining of floaters and flashes in their vision and ended up having a retinal detachment. So we're going to discuss retinal detachments today. So what happens with a retinal detachment? So your retina is the inside lining inside the back of the eye and this is like the film of a camera. That's what you see with. And so the back of the eye in front of the retina is filled up with a substance called the vitreous humor or vitreous body and so this is a jello sort of like substance that is attached to the retina more strongly out to the peripheral part here to the side and then also attached here in the posterior part and over time this jelly or vitreous tends to sort of liquefy and start to move around and also can uh, a, a tear can happen, a retinal tear can happen from an injury because a force hitting the eye can cause the jelly to move around or vitreous to move around. So what happens is, is that this vitreous starts to move and shrink and it pulls loose from the retina. So when it pulls loose, that's when you see these floaters that can be like cobwebs, veils, curtains, bugs, gnats, things floating in your vision. Uh, that's when you start to see those. You see those attachments floating around in the, your vision. And as this is tugging or pulling, or you move your eye and the vitreous bounces and hits your retina, you have flashes. Usually this flashing is not very bright, so you may not see it that much in the daytime, but you see it during the night. Um, so that's, that's what goes on with a vitreous detachment. The vitreous pulls loose and most of the time, 90 something percent of the time when this vitreous pulls loose, you have floaters, flashes, and that's all that happens. But on a rare occasion when this pulls loose, it tears a hole in the retina. And so what that allows is, is that because there's a hole there, now fluid inside your eye can seep underneath, through that hole, underneath your retina, and then the fluid pushes the retina off of its attachment to the choroid the next layer down, and that is a retinal detachment. So people who get retinal detachments then as this detachment spreads it then det it can detach the whole retina and the vision is extremely bad. In the beginning if it's only detached in an area you may notice some dark area to the side uh, in the beginning and so there's basically what we sort of consider two types of retinal detachments as far as how the outcome is going to be after repairing the retinal detachment. That is, the detachment is localized and does not involve the macula. So if it does not involve the macula, then almost always that person, is going to, once the retina is fixed, is going to maintain good vision because the macula has stayed in its proper location. And that type of retinal detachment needs to be repaired immediately because you want to keep that macula from detaching. The other type is where the macula has been detached, and so now the macula has been detached from its underlying uh, choroid and nutritional blood supply to some extent. And so even though the retina can be fixed, that macula may, not, it may have been damaged, it may not be as healthy as we would like, and so therefore the vision return after having a retinal detachment with the macula that has been detached is not as good. So it's important if someone has flashes and floaters that they get their retina looked at to make sure they don't have a tear. If they do, you want to fix that tear before the retina detaches. That way you can maintain your vision. And if you do get a retinal attachment, you want to catch it early so your macula stays in place. So um, then there's different ways to fix a retinal detachment. So we'll briefly cover that. So one method is if the tear is up above, the top half of the eye and it's not too large then what can be done is is that area will be have a freezing application applied to around where the tear is from the outside external part of the eye so that way it will seal that tear back up it will scar that tear back closed and then a gas bubble of gas is inserted into the eye and that bubble then pushes the retina back up to its proper location and seals everything back down and that can even be done in the office. If the tear is too, there's too many tears or too large or the tears below 
then you have to actually go into surgery and have the retina fixed. And many times that would include putting a band, like a rubber band that goes around the eye, to squeeze this in so it releases the traction inside the eye. That area where the tears are is frozen as well. And then sometimes a vitrectomy is done where all the vitreous is removed to remove any further traction on the retina. And so that has to be done in a sur surgery center or a hospital uh, as far as the procedure goes. And so those are the two basic ways in which a retinal detachment would be fixed. So, in summary, if you have flashes or floaters, you need to go see your eye doctor right away to make sure that your retina is okay. If you do have a retinal detachment, the good news is with today's technology, most of the time that can be fixed and it's important to do this as soon as possible if your macula is still intact because it will preserve the quality of your vision. So if you have any questions about a retinal detachment or any other eye questions, we'd be happy to try to answer those. You can contact us through the website. If not, may God grant you healthy eyes and great vision.